brave enough to be your queen, but the heart tells me I must. Lord Stoker? What are you doing here? I was led to you by the vampire's heart. I'm sorry if I look a little today. We just woke up and to a message from Amazon saying that they're three stops away. <laughs> All I'm gonna say is it's a Jersey remix summer. Are gonna be serving down. Well, yes. No, but all I'm gonna say are you ready to die, Monster High? It's Death Day. Happy Death Day. Hello, loves. My name is Aqua Elixir, or at least my Twitter handle is, and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Yes, we're a little scissor happy right now, but we have a reason, and the reason's right here. <laughs> Vampire Heart Draculaura. We pre-ordered her when she first came out on Amazon September 1st, last month. Yeah. And we have been anxiously, impatiently waiting for her. And today's apparently the day. I thought that she was going to be coming on Monday. But <coughs> apparently Amazon said, you know what, bitch? Here you go. Like, happy birthday, I guess. It's not my birthday yet. Um, but yeah, she's now here. I got the notification yesterday saying that she was coming tomorrow, as in today, and she's here. This doll, in my opinion, is probably the Monster High Collector doll. Um, I hate to be that person, but I think that this doll out-eats the 2015 one, like that really, really cool, iconic, like bigger scale Draculaura collector. I'm sorry to say I think that she eats her up. I really do. I remember September 1st. That was my 9-11. No, it was not. Um, when the doll was released, I woke up to like everybody on Twitter sharing photos of her. And I'm like, where the where is everybody getting these photos? Cause I went on Instagram. I didn't realize, but at the time, uh Monster High deleted their post for uh Vampire Heart Draculaura. And then I'm like looking on Mattel Creations because I'm thinking, oh, that's where they're going to have her because, you know, just like any other release. And she was not there. And I'm like, where is this doll? Like, did I miss my chance? I really wanted to get her. And shout out to one of my good Judies, one of my good girlies on Twitter at KK's Bratz, aka Michaela. What's good, girl? Shout out. Um, she gave me the link. And... Did we buy two of her? Did we buy two of her? I mean, take a look at how big this box is. Does it look like we just bought one? No. Did we buy two? Yeah. It was very necessary because I know that I would regret getting one because I know damn well I want to keep one in box and take one out of box. And usually I'm not an inbox and out of box collector. I love taking bitches out of box, but for this doll, She's just so pretty. I had to. I'm very happy that the price went down to 90 bucks. But then, because she just released back again yesterday, and she was 100 again. So I'm like, are they going to fix the price for those? What's going on with that? But anyways, this is the grand reveal, guys. And oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh! Oh! Okay, so we have one, like, literally out, and then the other one is in another box, so... Oh, my God! Oh, wow! Oh, wow! <gasps> You're dumb. You're stupid. You're an idiot. 
dumbest person I've ever met, stupidest person I've ever known. Oh my god. Monster High, are you ready to die? Oh, oh this food tastes so good, guys. This food is phenomenal. The screening is phenomenal. Oh, wow. Oh, it's cunt. Oh, it's mother. It's giving mother. The way that I'm holding two of these girls is a little crazy. It's a little insane. I cannot believe that she's finally here. I cannot believe that this is a doll that I now own in my collection. Because this is the craziest doll that Monster High has ever come out with. And I live for it. I love just like the idea of her. Because if you don't know, Vampire Heart is a fictional movie within the Monster High universe, which was featured in, yes, I brought out the DVD because I am extra, Monster High Frights camera action. So yeah, and it's basically Elizabeth, you know, the vampire queen. And this is Dracula's take if she were to be the vampire queen herself. Because in the movie, she's like kind of like the fake vampire queen because uh, Lord Stoker, who was running the vampire council, sure, was too riddled with power. He did not want to find the actual vampire queen, which was Elizabeth. Spoiler alert, I mean, the movie is really old at this point. Almost 10 years, I want to say. So instead of trying to find Elizabeth, trying to find, you know, the real vampire queen, he was like, uh, Draculaura, hey, you're a vampire queen. I just did it. The heart, because there's also a heart that um, the vampire queen, if she touches it, it glows. He got like a prop one from like China or something and said, touch it, Draculaura, and she touched it and it glowed. Um, but she wasn't the actual vampire queen. But in this rendition... She's Vampire Queen. And, oh wow, oh wow. This box is so pretty. Like get into the back art, not art. This is literally just photography. And we have ourselves a little blurb, so let's get into it. As the vampire's heart begins to glow, Dracula can hear the stirring melody of a string quartet. But how, she wonders her dark eyes peering down into the ballroom as dancers swirl in a ghostly scene. Candles flicker with an ominous glow as the clock strikes midnight and Draculaura approaches the grand staircase. The crowd grows quiet as they watch the haunting beauty descend in a romantic and regal cage skirt ball gown. Her dark hair pulled back by an elaborate bat wing headpiece, the vampire heart glitters at the center and brings the crowd into a respectful bow. Hey bestie, it's bow, not bow. Draculaura has arrived and is ready to strike her claim as the new vampire queen. She's Queeniana. I'm gagged. Smooches, love you. Mwah, mwah. Other dolls and cart each sold separately. Okay, we're in the middle of performing the surgery. It took us like 20 minutes to figure out just how to open this box. Monster High really said, what can we do to make it difficult for y'all to get this $100 doll out of the box? Because at first I'm thinking that you just like lift this piece up and then you'll be able to slide it out. No, no, Mattel said, let's make it difficult. So I have to go in, at least for me, I don't know, maybe there is an easier way and I just didn't see it. Uh, there's little tabs that go to the plastic casing on the sides and I just undid all of that. And we had to open her up like this, but to get to like all the twisty ties in the back and stuff like that, I think we're gonna have to do something else. This surgery is... <laughs> Okay, so I was going to pull y'all in for a little bit of a closer look because we do have the doll out now, but my iPhone 11 camera just loves to not focus on the correct thing, and then it keeps on refocusing every few seconds, so I don't want y'all to go through that seizure, so I'm just going to like maybe put clips while I'm talking about her so that y'all do still get that full image of her, but first off, we do have this cute... 
um, certificate of authenticity, but it's on like a nice cardstock. And as you can see, the lettering is kind of like metallic. So it says Dracula or Vampire Heart. And then the back, very cute. So the only other accessory that she comes with other than herself is her saddle stand. And I never had a doll that came with a saddle stand before, so I never could relate to when people were like, oh yeah, saddle stands suck. I know what y'all mean now. I know what y'all mean now. The amount of times that she's already fallen over, and maybe it's because I just don't know how to use a saddle stand. Like I've never had a doll to really put her on one. But I also think that it's just because of the skirt of the dress and putting this on it, at least for my doll, it's just not working for me. But now let's get into the doll. Here she is. I need a light. Okay, maybe that's a little bit better, but here is Draculaura. She looks so stunning. Now, let me get my Haunt Couture Draculaura so that y'all can see, compare faces a little bit. Now, they're similar, but they're also very different. Um, the way that the eye shape is, is very, very different as you can see. They're very gorgeous dolls. I know one thing that a lot of people were like talking about were her eyebrows because I mean they are a little thick but also looking at Haunt Couture Draculaura even though her bangs hide them very well she does have basically the same eyebrows so I'm like okay if you hate her then you must hate that one then too but um I don't know I just don't think that the eyebrows are that big of a drawback because the rest of the doll is really stunning like there's so many other things to look at that outweigh anything that the eyebrows give so yeah but the makeup is so gorgeous she does have the real eyelashes again her makeup is giving like I'm, I'm not good with makeup but it's like black and pink on the eye and then we have like a nice glitter underneath she has a little you know black heart her little birthmark and then her lips are black which I love, like, oh my god, please, we need more dolls with black lips. It's just such a serve. Her earrings are really pretty, too. At the base of the earring, it looks like it's giving, like, a miniature version of the vampire heart. And then it kind of goes down into a bat and then into some beads. So it's kind of giving, like, a bat chandelier in a way, which I really love. And they are a little bit of, like, a transparent pink color. And then let's just get into this hair. I mean, we got the cute little curly cute bangs. And then on each side, we do have these braids. It's kind of trying to give like the shape of a heart, trying to emulate that effect. And I live, I live for it. But um, she does have a lot of light pink in her hair in the front. In the back with the rest of her hair, this long, beautiful mane of hair, it is just black. But, I mean, you're not really looking back here unless you're looking at the headpiece, which is absolutely stunning. So, it's supposed to emulate, obviously, the vampire heart. You know, touch it, that shit's gonna glow. Except this one's not, <laughs> you know, so. But, yeah, it's really cute. The middle centerpiece, and then behind it, we do have a little bat. And I love the ombre because it goes from the black in the bat to this beautiful pink. And on the ends, it's giving spider web, and then it has like a little beaded moment on the last like spider web thing. And then that just kind of drapes down into the beautiful little charms that we have, these cute little heart charms, which are supposed to emulate the heart charms on Honkator Dracula's belt. So I love that callback too. Like, not only are we getting a callback to G1, like, OG G1, but we're also getting the Honkator callback. I love. We love a good reference point. So yeah, so there's three on this side, and then there's three on this side. Cute little dangly pieces. And then yeah, the rest of the hair. And then the last thing about the back that we'll get into is this bow. Now I did just take her out of the box, so it's not the most uh, nicely set up. It definitely needs to get zhuzhed up a little bit. But we do have the bow piece back here which very much gives me Dawn of the Dance Dracula vibes in the sense that, like, the arches of the bow looping in so that her arms can go through it. It's giving that tease, 
but we have this like beautiful train emulating the bow. I love that. But now moving back up to the front of the dress, uh, we do have the black bow again. And that is over this white top, which I think we'll probably get into later because these pieces are all removable. But she does have a white top underneath with these really cute black sleeves. And I think there are like little bows and stuff like that on the sleeves as well, which is a nice little detail. And then for the bodice, she does have it in the middle right here. Um, it's a bow and then it has a cute little, I'm gonna assume that's supposed to be a rose in the middle. Very pretty. She does also, I want to say, I don't know if this is supposed to be like a necklace or maybe it's supposed to come off as like an under part, like a imitation undershirt. But she does have like this black lacy doily kind of piece right here at the neck. So I'm like, is it a necklace? We'll find out. But moving down from the bodice, we have this beautiful rouging right here for her first skirt. And it's just so precious. It has a nice trim to it at the bottom and these beautiful pearls like going all the way around. Very cute. I just love some rouging. I love the look of it. Yeah, this is phenomenal. Monster high. But then moving on down to the bigger skirt. Now, this was another point of topic. A lot of people were not a fan of this. The skirt is made out of like a PVC, a, a, a nylon material almost. Yeah, it is not a fully fabric skirt. I honestly don't mind, like, as much as I would have loved to have seen this be an actual fabric skirt, I like this because of the way that it keeps the structure. Like, there was a, um, this plastic piece that was holding everything in place, like, the whole frame of the skirt, but even without it, like, this skirt is holding up on its own very nicely. So I, I like it. I like it for the structure of it and what they were trying to go for. And we do have this nice pleather kind of cutout moment all along the skirt. And I know that the designer said that it's supposed to emulate the Frights Camera Action Draculaura pattern that she had on her dress, like the doll. So I think that that's a really cute callback. I definitely would not have remembered that, but the fact that they put in that much thought, like, thank you so much, Monster High, like... Oh my god, your mind. I do have to say, having the doll in hand, I wish low-key that it wasn't this clear transparency and maybe it was either like pink or white underneath because, I don't know, to me, I feel like looking at this doll with the transparency through it, I just see legs. I just see legs. This is so gorgeous. It really is. But I can't look at her without just like looking at the legs and seeing that it's just like, I don't know. Do you guys understand what I mean? Like, I don't see the ball gown first. I just see her legs. But I mean, this is still very phenomenal. The work on this is everything. Moving on down, we have some more rouging towards the bottom. So we have some more pearl details. And then yeah, just like more drapery, more rouging. Um, with the fabric that is definitely giving the same pattern as up here. So it's just done so beautifully. Yeah. So here is Draculaura in that little mini dress. It is really such a cute piece on its own. And I'm so happy because like we've seen it with that Gulax Gulia, and now we're seeing it again, where the designers are really leaning in towards the restylers, the people who love a bunch of different pieces, so that, you know, you can really customize and make either this doll your own or other dolls your own, whatever the case may be with these pieces. I just really love that. You know, it gives you something more than just the big ball gown look, and it's such a cute tiny mini dress like I I don't know what else to say this is just so cool that we have that and going down to the shoes because now we can see them a lot better I mean they're really really cute we have some bows 
some other little texture detail at the bottom right here. But the back is the main selling point for them. Because the heel is, I don't know if my camera's going to be able to capture it well, but it is a spiral staircase. I'm so, do not look at my nails. Um, but it is a spiral staircase. And then there is a bat fully on that back heel. These are just a really, really cool shoe mold. G1 never disappoints with the shoe game. And for those of you who are curious, the very last layer that we have is this white lacy bodysuit. Yeah, this whole entire, is this even a bodysuit? I mean, it's the full body. Uh, but yeah, and this little lacy piece is supposed to be a faux undershirt moment, not a necklace. But this is really, like, the detail. I love it. It's so pretty. This doll is phenomenal. Also, for anyone that's curious as to how she looks with the little bow shawl train, but without the ball skirt, here is how she looks. I would do a 360, but this doll has, like, fallen on me six times already because of the stand. Yeah, so that's not gonna happen. But here she is, very gorgeous. All right, guys, we have her back in the original getup. Just get into it one last time. Oh, let's fix this bow train. Oh. Final thoughts on Vampire Heart Draculaura. She is, hands down, the best Monster High collector doll that there is. Probably, dare I say, the best Monster High doll. Like, I don't know. I don't think that we've ever seen this level of detail. Maybe we have, but to my mind right now, this is like insane. This doll is so ethereal, gorgeous, amazing, never been done before, unafraid to reference or not reference. Yeah, I'm just blown away. Like, truly... When the only drawback is the saddle stand, that's what you know, because she's, I'm so happy to have her. I really am. After the whole Tiffany and Chucky Skelector doll debacle, I did not think that I was going to get lucky again getting a Monster High doll. And the fact that Amazon was the one who pulled through with this doll and she was on the website for a lot longer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just so grateful to have her in my collection. I'm so thankful. You know, the fact that I can say that I own one out of box and then I still have the one oh, that's in box. You gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna try my best to get this review out in time because I want to say that there aren't any Vampire Heart Draculaura reviews on YouTube yet. So I'm like, I want to be one of the first. So if you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did filming it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to the channel. There is so much fun stuff on the channel and to come to the channel. So stay tuned and comment down below. Yeah, let me know your thoughts on her. If you got her or, you know, I, I just hope that all the people who wanted her were able to get her. And if not, I hope that Amazon does some sort of restock. Who knows? We'll see. But... That is it on Vampire Heart Draculaura, and I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye. Uh -huh.